Okay, so check it out. I've cut the door frame pieces. I've got them cut to length, uh, relatively. Um, as you can see here, about three inches off of this one uh, on this side, and about an inch and a half off of this side. Uh, I'm going to cut an angle almost even with the tip here, and then grind it down inside to that point and that point, so that there'll be sidewall that I can screw into. I've already basically done that to this end. I've just used my dribble to hollow out a little divot that will sit on the conduit like that and then I can just drill into it from the side and attach these to that. So there you go. Done. For grinding these dips in the in the PVC where where I'm having them put them over the pipe and then just screw them into place. I'm using this uh it's a cordless Dremel, the Multi-Pro 7.2 volt. Probably not the best choice. Um, I've been through about six corded Dremels in my day, and um, this was only six bucks. I found a good deal, so uh, I don't recommend this. If you can get just a regular corded Dremel, it's going to have the staying power. This thing will run... I, I did two, oh, three and a half sides, and there are a total of eight, so, before I had to recharge, so, and it was a full charge, just thought I'd say that real quick, so, I'm going to cut this pipe now. Now, I probably haven't mentioned this, but I'm also going to go up here on the opposite side from the door, and, uh, I'm going to frame into this triangle a, uh, another sort of a frame and uh, use the, the other pieces of PVC here to um, essentially build uh, a window. Uh, exactly the same principle as the door. Uh, spring close. Well, I don't even need the spring on the window. Um, with a little push rod that I can lock in place to prop it open because it's not even spring yet. And, uh, you know, it was 70 degrees today, uh, which was nice. It was really nice. Um, and, you know, having a forge blowing in here, and, you know, I, I anticipate it getting into the hundreds of degrees in this little shed. Uh, and with no wind, that could be a potential problem. So, put a window in, maybe two, and then I can prop the door open, prop the windows open, and, uh, plenty of ventilation, which is which is always a good thing, and it'll keep the weather off of me, so that's really the goal. <laughs> and that's what I've come up with. Uh, pretty nicely framed. Uh, it fits the doorway perfectly with just a, a hair of a reveal all the way around. Um, a little more at the top, but that's fine. Um, so yeah, there it is. Just got to get it all glued together, which is problematic at the moment because I have to get the uh, the hinge pieces. Um, these here are the hinge pieces, and it's going to hold it here. And then there's one down at the bottom on the other joint holding it there. Um, they're going to be glued to another piece just like this, slipped over this, and then this this will be it'll be screwed to this through this. And then it'll, it'll, this piece will be fixed, and then the whole entire door will freely swing like this. And then somewhere along this bar, I'll, I'll put a, uh, a mount screw with a spring that goes to either that or to this out beyond that, and it'll pull it shut. So it'll be pulled closed, and then you push through it or pull it open from the outside. So, but this piece is done, thank goodness. And now on to the other part. Finish grinding those pieces. Alright, one more little thing for my door frame design. I took this T piece, or this cross piece, that uh, is the opening side support. And there was an extra T off. And uh, I didn't need it, but I got this piece on purpose so I could trim it out and make a door stop. Now, I'll clean that up, obviously, with uh, with the, the sanding tool, but I just cut that out of there. And so, yay, now i got a doorstop, which is cool, because I'm going to have it spring-loaded. 
There may be a few of you out there wondering why I'm cutting all this PVC, even the funny angles, with a um, with a hand saw rather than a table saw or some other sort of powered saw. Well, it's because that the electronic options are often so indiscriminate that you will have cut away half your material before you realize you're off your line. And uh, this just gives you a, a certain modicum of control that you can't really get with a with a powered option. So. I tend to stick with it just just for I don't know carefulness sake. <laughs> That's really the only reason. Now you, much like myself, may have actually wondered from time to time, how am I going to attach this piece of PVC to these metal conduit pipes? Hmm. Maybe drill a hole in the PVC and use a zip tie. Might work. Probably not going to be very sturdy. Some sort of adhesive. Maybe. I think I've figured out something. Number six, half inch self tapping screws. They'll eat through the PVC like it's not even there. And uh, they'll go through this pretty easily. I will uh, mark the locations, pre drill the holes in the PVC, and then use a, a, a punch to divot a hole so that it won't walk around while I'm drilling it. And then I'll just drive them straight in through the PVC and I'll hold it securely. You know, I'll just sandwich it between this and that and it won't move anywhere. It'll be as rigid as this is. I you just know. sat down here for a minute letting the Dremel charge up so I can finish cutting these pieces out. I think I may have to modify my design. Each of these triangular faces, either on the outside area, either face the ground slightly or the sky slightly. The upside down triangles face the sky, the right side up triangles face the ground. And this area where I've got my building sit, sat, is kind of a slope up that way. Happens to be the direction I face the door. With the angle of the slope and the angle of the door frame, my concern is that the door will swing open and hit the dirt. I don't want that. I think for ease of closure, I may attempt to make the door open inward. Because the only other real alternative is to dig out the area in front of the door. So until I get the uprights in place and am then assured of their uh, orientation and can test swing the door. I won't know for sure if I'll have to do that. Because the door, the edge that the door will be mounted to is up off the ground just a bit. And it may provide just enough clearance to open the door or only have to clear a little. But yeah, just that little update there. I thought I'd, I'd clue you guys in. Dang it. Something, always something, you know? live. You know, this place, it's all made of white plastic. I bet from the road, at night, this thing looks like a dang UFO landing in the woods. It lights up pretty well at night, too. Pretty kind of cool, actually. Why don't I show you? <laughs> the reveal. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's pitch dark out here. You can't see squat. And then I got this glowing white icosahedron out in the middle of the woods.